Here in this abnormally warm ocean, we can see a hive of new stuff. The common plastic bag floats with grace through the currents, while the discarded plastic bottle bobs along the surface. <clears throat> um, maybe we'll let the actual David Attenborough say it. What we have done to the deep ocean floor uh, is just unspeakably awful. I mean, if you did anything remotely like it on land, everybody would be up in arms. If this film yeah, he's one of many experts who are concerned about the state of the world's oceans right now and the threats that continue to face marine ecosystems like plastic pollution, climate change and overfishing. In fact, the United Nations says that a whopping 50% of coral reefs have been destroyed by climate change warming oceans. And 90% of big fish populations have been reduced by overfishing. There is a tipping point approaching, beyond which recovery may become impossible. It's a big deal because more than 70% of the Earth's surface is ocean and it provides way more than just cool nature documentaries. <clears throat> Although the nature is pretty spectacular, check out this... Uh, I don't even know what that is. In fact, scientists say there are a whole bunch of creatures living down there that we haven't met yet and might not get to if we destroy their homes and food supply. Oceans also produce at least 50% of the planet's oxygen, thanks to teeny tiny organisms like phytoplankton that turn sunlight into O2. And they provide food for billions of people and animals. Which means the pollution ending up in the ocean is a huge problem. We just got this bag out of a bird's stomach. While humans might not be eating plastic bags, we are ending up with microplastics and other pollutants in our seafood. Then there's the weather. See, currents deep in the ocean act like a conveyor belt pumping around warm and cool water, which has a huge effect on the rainfall and temperatures here on land. But the changes in ocean temperature can disrupt the cycles and lead to more extreme temperatures and weather events. So yeah, oceans are pretty important. And that's why the UN gets leaders and experts together every year to come up with more ways to protect them. Sustainable fishing is not a choice. It is our only option. The ocean has given us so much. It's time we return the favor. There were some wins from this year's conference like 18 new countries joining the High Seas Treaty, which is an agreement designed to increase biodiversity in international waters. If 11 more countries sign up, it will become law. There were also plans for new marine parks and less pollution. We will strive to cut plastic and nutrient pollution by half within five years. Some people say it's not enough and we need to act now. What was lost in a generation can return in a generation. The ocean of our ancestors, teeming with life and diversity, can be more than a legend. It can be our legacy. <laughs>